Welcome back. Spooky season is well underway, and along with the tricks, there are often plenty of treats. And sometimes it can be easy to overindulge on healthy foods this time of year. So joining us this morning are Danae Sink and Flower Madeira. They're registered dietitians with Carl Health, and they're going to share some tips with us for our happy and healthy Halloween. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. So, of course, Halloween, candy, I mean, how easy is it for kids to overconsume candy? Well, of course, it's very easy, especially at this time of year. And uh, it's easy for adults and kids alike, to be honest. <laughs> but the important thing to remember is that while it is important to have some healthy boundaries and to practice mindfulness with the Halloween candy, it's also important to remember that it is just one time a year and that what kids are eating most of the time is going to have the biggest impact on their health. So what are some tips for helping parents limit that consumption? Right. So that is a super common concern for adults. Right, you take your kids trick or treating and then you come home, there's this giant bucket of candy that they're just ready to dive face first into. <laughs> so for adults that recognize that in their children, that is definitely step one because recognizing that allows you to plan ahead. So what I would suggest is explaining to your kids and telling them like um, the expectations that you have prior to going out trick or treating, right? So when people's expectations are violated, they become angry. And this includes children. So prior to going out on the town, I would suggest talking to your child before taking them and explaining, hi, we're going to be going trick-or-treating tonight. I know you're super excited. <laughs> Once we get home, we're going to have three pieces of candy or whatever you want to set that limit to. After that, we're going to brush our teeth and we're going to get ready for bed or whatever you're following that with. So kids know, know what to expect. They can't, yes. they can't be eager to have you know, 20 <laughs> pieces of candy and then just not be able to go to bed. Right. Um, so when you're having a Halloween party, of course, those are happening right now too. Of course, there's the candy and the sweets, but what are some other snacks that are appropriate for Halloween? Yeah, so uh, for those that are getting together for Halloween parties, there are a lot of non-candy treats that can be had. So there's pretzels, there's um, popcorn, you know, healthy alternatives that we would suggest hosts consider using at their parties. And you have these pumpkins here with you. Tell me yes. what they represent. Yeah, so the teal one in particular is the one that we wanted to highlight. So it's good for parents to know that when they're taking their kids out trick-or-treating, that the teal pumpkins actually represent allergen-friendly homes. So there's food allergies are becoming more and more prevalent, and so it's important for those, ki those parents that have kiddos that have allergies that they can go to those houses that have the teal pumpkins and know that they're getting safe food for their kids. Yeah, that's so important, especially with candy having peanuts and Absolutely. things like that. Yeah, I can't even imagine. So, I mean, but, so where can people go to learn more tips and information? Yeah, so um, I would recommend that people can check out carl.org for recipes um, and also the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics and the American Heart Association have some great articles available on having, how to have a healthy and happy Halloween. All right, thank mm -hmm. you so much to the both of you for joining us this yes. morning and hope you all learned some tips about how to stay safe with sweets this Halloween season. And we'll share all the information on our website, ciproud.com.